Hi guys, welcome back to Agricultural Simulator Historical Farming with me, Taffin Exile. Last time out, we seeded the field with all sorts of problems. Uh, oh god, yeah, don't want to revisit that. Um, so, next on our task is to fertilize. So, uh, let's just get this muck spreader over to the muck heap. And uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Load this baby up. Uh, so, you onto you. Plunk click. Excellent. We're in. Now, I'm thinking we just hover this, or hover it, uh, reverse this into the muck heap and uh, it should automatically start uh, filling up, I believe. So let's give this a whirl. Is that filling up? Yes it is! So you can just see it going up on there, 70 or 200. Okay, off we're there. Do that for a second. 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, and we're done. Okay, I'm not sure how far this is going to get us in the field. It may not, um, you know, we may need more than one load to do this, but that, that's fine, that's fine. We will do what needs to be done. Okay, let's line her up. Switch to external to line her up. Okay. Let's switch her on and let's go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Well, as beautiful as spreading crap on the floor it can get, but oh, brilliant. Okay, so we're spreading our muck, uh, fertilizing the field, lovely. It's not how we're doing, so that's some fine. Uh, yeah, we may need one or two trailer loads of muck to be honest with you. That's fine. That's fine. I can see obviously where, where it's it's spraying on the sort of on the the boundary side of the uh, the field because you can see it going dark. But I'm struggling to see roughly where it sort of extends to it to the inside of the field. Though. I think it's probably only about a meter to the side. So uh... okay, let's stop there. So that's, that's a, oh god, it took 69 to get there. So we may, uh, but we can see the dark patch. So I reckon if we go right there, that should cover it. Go, 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 forward. Okay, so while we're doing this, uh, it's going okay. What's been happening in the world? Uh, if you're a, a fan of Agricultural Simulator 2013, which I am, and, and you may have seen that I am actually uh, doing a Let's Play on that series at the moment, they have just opened a a beta program where you can sign up and uh, go straight onto the the beta, which they're developing the next patch. So loads of new bug fixes, you know, uh, new new graphical improvements, you know, performance-wise as well as. Uh, removing glitches so uh, yeah if you fancy helping them out and um, speeding up the time to the next patch then yeah so, uh, go on to the the website and uh, there's all details on there and how you can just uh, uh, you know um, click onto the uh, onto the beta version and uh, test it out for them so yeah if you're interested give it a go uh, everyone else would much appreciate it ok 
Okay, we'll just come to the end of this now. We've got 59. Uh, I think one more load we'll probably, we'll probably do, actually, so that's not too bad. Again, difficult to tell exactly where we are. 42. This will probably get us to the end of the row. I look we're overlapping a bit, but that, I'm not. I'd rather overlap than miss something, you know. So yeah, that's okay. Fourteen. Oh, are we going to make the end? Uh, yeah, we are. Yeah, I think. Okay, she's out. Let's uh, switch her off. And let's uh, go back to the farm. Uh, so, what's been happening in the world? Um, oh, well, let me start with saying it's uh, it's Saturday morning. Well, it's Saturday afternoon now, but this morning, wow. Uh, the final test against the Lions and Australia. What a game. What a game. Loads of loads of pressure and criticism on the team and the boss because uh, he drops you know the uh, the Irish talisman that is Brian O'Driscoll and to be honest with you it, I was a bit surprised as well uh, even as a Welshman I, I thought he'd be in the, in the, at least on the bench but no uh, Gatlin went with uh, the guys he you know the, the form guys basically the guys have been playing well and um, who he thinks you know, could get the job done, and uh, lo and behold, it, he proved all the doubters, especially some of the um, so-called pundits, uh, who were tipping Australia to uh, win, some by as much as 16 to 20 points, um, you know, wow, what what, what a game, uh, those of you who don't know, uh, I hope I haven't spoiled anything for you, but the Lions just, it was so, it was tense and edgy, the Lions pulled away to begin with and we thought, okay and then just before half time and just after half time, Australia my god, they're a good team they just never quit and you know they're always a threat and they came right back to three points I think it was 16-19 at one point but but wow, then the magic happened and uh the tries started, you know, the, the, the plays started to open up, the tries started to come in, and uh, yeah, I think it was uh, 16 to Australia, 41 to the Lions in the end, final score, and um, I think that was our first series win since 1997, so um, fantastic, uh, fantastic result for the Lions, you know, the, the British and Irish Lions, and, and you know, and, and Australia played their part as well, they were superb, and you know, the Ah, oh, just unbelievable, you know, it makes you proud to be British and be a rugby fan, but, uh, so that, that's good news, um, really happy with that, uh, I don't know why I've started with Mark Spreader here, because that's not exactly where we ended up, was it, but never mind, so yes, really pleased with the Lions, really pleased, happy days, uh, look forward to four years time when we take on New Zealand, uh, probably be a different kettle of fish then, a lot of things can happen in four years, um, what else has happened? Uh, yeah, we had um, obviously last time we we're doing we we're talking about the British Grand Prix and uh, Rosberg winning that. We just had the qualifying for the German Grand Prix and Hamilton's put it on pole. Uh, a bit weird because Mercedes managed to um, mess up and poor old uh, Rosberg didn't even make it to final qualifying because they thought he'd gone quick enough and they told him to just sit in the garage and uh, everyone else improved and he missed out but um, looks like an interesting race on the cards tomorrow we got Mercedes up front again with then the uh, the Red Bull of Sebastian Vettel as always and uh, then Raikkonen's up there Weber's up there so um, and the Ferraris have gone on a different tactic. They've decided to go on the hard tyres rather than the soft. So they quit, they sort of sacrificed qualifying to uh, to do a different race strategy. So there's loads of things to look forward to, forward to in tomorrow's race. Um, so if you're interested, yeah, check it out. 
I'm sure it'll be a good one. Yeah, you can see the field's definitely got dark in there, hasn't it? So, uh, that's good. We're still... Whoa, what's going on there? Okay, we're still on the 1st of May. We've done all this on day one, so uh, we're going really well. Um, how much have we got in there? We've got 65. I'm just going to just start circling just to... Uh, until we empty the empty the trailer, I'll just go down the middle, just in case I've missed anything there. Yeah, in Britain we've had uh, we've had a lovely week, and we are now just had a absolute scorcher of a day on the Saturday. Um, the car was reading uh, 35 degrees at one point. Clearly, it's not 35 degrees, but um, yeah, even driving when it start to. Uh, get some air through it, it was still reading around the um, 30.5 degrees celsius mark so we've had a you know car one's never that accurate car yeah, temperature check so it's probably in the high you know high 20s possibly maybe got to 30 but um, yeah beautiful day here in the UK I hope you uh, hope you had a nice weekend wherever you are as well so uh, there we go Wow, that was surprisingly easy after our debacle with the cedar last time out. And that's actually defined the field a lot better, isn't it? Great stuff. So we'll just pop this away, and uh, yeah, we'll be done for another day. And so I, just, I get I get hypnotised by the uh, the crazy paving here. It's, it's fantastic, isn't it? Uh, where should we park our farm equipment? Uh, I don't particularly want to put this in the barn. Oh, we put it in that little. Oh, we put it in there. Yes, let's put it in there. Make the beeps beep 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 beep. Oh, a lovely bit of reversing skill here. Whoops, went wrong at the end. There we go. Right, let's disconnect. Fantastic. Right, let's just uh, move right away. So there we go. The field has been ploughed, cultivated, seeded, and now fertilised. And we can leave it to its devices to grow. Uh, we may spray it when it starts to, uh, when the first shoots of life start to come through. But there we go. Um, another successful episode. So, uh, yeah, happy days. So, I'll leave it there. Um, I will continue to take the milk down to the village to sell um, while the crop begins to grow. Uh, and next time, next episode, we'll be looking to spray the, the crop once that starts to uh starts to grow so um i look forward to look forward to that i'm sure you will too um so yeah let's uh stop talking and uh, <laughs> i'll leave the episode there thanks ever so much for watching see you later